Dark Nick just got a whole lot stronger, Hard Void Tower got a lot easier, and a whole bunch of heroes got a whole bunch of changes. Welcome everybody, welcome, I'm Bear Cozy. We got a brand new patch today, we got a ton of changes to get to, so let's dive right into it. All right, so we got a brand new patch, we got a ton of changes, and we're gonna break it down into a few different sections. The first section we have are new updates, then we have hero balance adjustments, which there are a lot of. And then of course we have some hero mastery adjustments, plus a hero recall for Shark Soul Andre. Now, we have a ton of things, let's start from the top. Here's what I wanna talk about today. New update right now, we have two new heroes available. We have two new legendary heroes, which is Gavin, who is fire, and then a vengeful Hazel, who is a dark. And then we also have two new epics. So four new heroes all in all. The two new epics are Royce, who is a light epic hero, and Philida, who is a fire. Now, right now, we don't have any new information on this. I would love to get an early preview of what the heroes look like so I can share them with you. But we're going to move on. Number two is a new mystery item in the shop. Number three, limited summons. A new round of limited summons is available. And of course, the new heroes are now in limited summons only, which is unfortunate. I don't think anybody likes that change, but that's the way it is. We have Gavin, we have Bulin. By the way, if you are struggling in clan boss, in the banker, Bulin is your go-to hero to control his rage. Don't miss Bulin. We also got Hyam, who is water, and all of the legendary light and dark heroes that I will never get. Moving on to number four, gear management. Added options that allow you to filter gear by the third secondary stat and hide locked gear. So if we are looking at gear, the third secondary stat is simply a filter of the secondary stat and there's going to be a third option here on top of the main stat. If you are looking for speed or something like this or speed and focus, that is how you filter it by secondary stats. And then this is where you get, that's actually a really nice piece. This is where you get your secondary stats, speed, focus, and health. So there is a new filter that's added to that now, which is really, really nice. They've also added a legendary book to the Hero Essence Shop. Banishing legendary heroes now grants bonus Hero Essence. I don't know anybody who's banished legendaries because we all need them unless you have somebody that is completely maxed out. Starting from March, clearing the 100th floor of Normal Void Tower will give us a epic book as a reward. That is awesome. Huge shout out to the community for voting on the epic book. I made a video about that, encouraged all of you to vote, and that's really good to see everybody came together and voted on that we need more epic books and starting in march clearing normal void tower we do get an epic book so there is your motivation to clear all of normal void tower if you have not been doing so now there are also a couple of new adjustments they lowered the speed of monsters in void tower i don't believe that's hard void tower i believe that's normal that is to be seen and then of course the combat the block effect can no longer be removed those are all of the new changes. Moving on to hero balances. Dark Nicholas, really, really strong. Basic ability, increase the multiplier from 100 to 120. Special ability, death immunity can no longer be removed. That is a horrible, horrible change. Uh, he's already really strong, and now we can't strip it. So the only way to do that is to put up block buffs before he pops that immunity. That's a little bit challenging to do. Trade ability. Also, God changed. He now gains a shield and control immunity for two turns. Um, that's a little too strong. We'll, we'll have to see what happens going forward. Darcy also got a bunch of changes. There are honestly so many changes here. It's a little overwhelming. Too much, too fast is what comes to mind. Her special ability upon taking damage exceeding 35% max health. Recover 80% of the max health instead of 60. So she got a lot stronger, which is really good. The ultimate ability increased the multiplier, which is really good as well, up to 200%. The trait ability increased the duration of immune from one turn to two turns. Darcy is really cool looking. That is a hero I would not mind having. Fianna got an increased multiplier as well, quite a bit actually on her special from 120 to 180. Her trait ability for each positive effect grants 10% damage reduction instead of 6%. The maximum is still 30% unchanged. Rick's multiplier got increased. His ultimate ability multiplier got increased. 
Thor got some interesting changes here. So before the trait ability worked like this, for each attack received, he converted 60% of Locke's health, lost health into delusive health. And then when he was attacking, he converted that delusive health equal to 50% of the damage dealt into health. Now for each attack received, he converts 80% of lost health into delusive health, which is a little bit more and then when attacking, he converts 60% of the damage dealt into health. So he got a little bit tankier. Molex has a 100% chance to apply defense down on his basic ability, which is pretty good. Terez is a hero that I recently pulled, have not built him. Looks pretty good. Increased the base attack. Ultimate ability increased the multiplier from 140 plus 45% of the target's remaining ability cooldown. The wording's a little funky there, but he got stronger. Fium is another one. Basic ability increased the multiplier from 80% to 100%. He looks awesome. He reminds me of Diablo 3, and I haven't built him, so now might be a good time to try him out since he got buffed. His trade ability reduced the trigger cooldown from 3 rounds to 2, makes him a lot stronger, and a new effect on his trait, which is his awakened ability, right? Anytime we activate his trait, I don't remember if his trait is on 2 or on 5, most likely on 5, like all the new heroes, but the new effect at the start of battle, he gains control immunity for two turns. And there are a lot more changes. Viola got changes here. Helmar, which is a really, really good one here. Helmar, his trait after the change, his attacks have a 35% chance and a 70% chance to trigger a bonus attack with the special ability. That is dependent on his trait, of course. Baron, Baron, I'm not so happy with this change. This could be good, could be not good. The way that I built her is I built her a little bit slower because before the change, she put up speed up on herself. Now her speed up will be gone, which means she's a little too slow for me. I'll have to rebuild her. But the good news is after her awakened ascension, she gains damage up for one turn, which essentially does the same thing as Light Winstrix did. And I made a huge video on Light Winstrix that was really good showing off how good they were together. Afroni got a buff, special ability, new effect. Damage taken from critical strikes is reduced by 50%. That's pretty big. Kasim is another one. Special ability increased the multiplier, so the multiplier got increased. The ultimate ability does a lot more damage as well. He should be a lot more useful now. Liverly is who I just recently pulled. Haven't built her yet. Wasn't sure if she was good. The health difference based damage bonus is now capped at 350% instead of 200 which is awesome the more health she has she is gonna smack a loon is another one the trade ability reduced the trigger cooldown from three to two turns silent also got changes augustine got changes levi got changes hydrissia hydrissia i am using quite a bit right now in my speed farming team ash magisteria health stage four and i am using her and they do pretty good they're just under two minutes which is a pretty nice run. Her trade ability, she has a new effect. When deployed in adventure, increases the experience gained from stage completion by 15%. That is really, really good. She will now be a lot more useful in farming adventure, in farming experience, and farming glyphs. And of course, I'm, I've been using her all along because I really like her. So that is a really, really good change, especially for new players. The only caveat being here is if you don't have her, you can't get that bonus, but that's a that's a pretty good change for adventure. Nothing really PvP based. Nothing doesn't really make her any stronger. Just gives a little bit more experience, which is still pretty good. And to new one, new trade ability when deployed in adventure increases experience gained from stage completion by five percent. So the question I have to ask, since I have both those heroes, is does it stack? And we're gonna find that out once this patch is live, and I will check those out because I do have both those heroes. Now, hero mastery adjustments. Moving on to hero mastery adjustments. Shane replaced the true strike effect with AoE damage bonus and received AoE damage reduction. That's kind of cool. Aubrey replaced the true strike effect with AoE damage bonus as well and received AoE damage reduction as well. Shark Soul Andre, who I have, who I built, I've been playing around with him in arena. He doesn't do a ton of damage because he's not ascended or booked, but he is pretty tough to take down and he is pretty good with the stuns and multiple turns. And he also has a ton of HP, so that works out really well with him and Marion Shadowblood. 
Shark Solandre replaced the plus 15 speed, which I'm not a big fan of. Speed is very, very good, especially with Shark Solandre being an arena hero or an arena focused hero. Dropping the speed in favor of crit damage is not a great change. And the true strike effect with crit rate bonus. So the crit rate bonus is good, crit damage is good. However, the speed is very bad. And him being a arena focused hero, I would much rather keep the speed, but that is my preference. We also have a hero recall for Baron and Shark Soul Andre. If you are not happy with the changes, you can now for a limited time do a hero recall, which gives you all of their resources back, all of their pumpkins, all of the experience, all the glyphs, and so on. You get all of the resources you spent on them back to you. And then essentially that hero goes back down to level one. So there are a ton of changes here with the best one, I guess, being on Baron is one of them. And of course, Dark Nicholas is a very, very huge buff. Dark Nicholas is really, really good as is. I don't have him. I wish I had him. If I had him, I would be very happy with this change, but I don't have him, so I'm not. So <laughs> there it is. It's all in perspective, but overall, we have a lot of changes. The new Epic Book, which is added to normal Void Tower, is very, very nice. I'm really happy they made that change. I'm happy the community voted for that book. That's going to be really awesome. So there are all the changes. One thing we don't know is what the mystery item in the shop will be just yet. I am recording this video pre-patch, so once the patch drops, we will find out together. So that's going to do it for all of the patch notes. Do me a huge favor. Help my channel grow. Hit the like and the subscribe. Also, leave me a nice comment. Let me know what your favorite options are for these changes, what your favorite changes are from this patch, and let me know if you really, really like the epic book and Void Tower. That's going to do it for me. For more Bear Cozy videos, check out the top right.